We are talking ridiculousness today. So how many of you know that backpacker, that guy who has the smallest pack, the lightest gear, so small he doesn't even bring a toothbrush out with him, but that same guy brings an entire bottle of wine packed in the top of his pack to be drank at the top of a summit. That's the type of ridiculous we're talking about today, but it's with trailers, the ridiculous things we bring out here with us. Hey guys, welcome back to Playing With Sticks. This is a channel devoted to small camper trailers and just helping you get outside and have a more enjoyable life out here. So if that sounds like you, definitely subscribe below. In this episode, guys, we are out chasing berries. It's berry season here in Alaska, and during this journey, we're just gonna talk about the ridiculous things we bring out here. I mean, I have a feeling in the comment section, a lot of people are gonna give us a hard time for these items, but we're really doing this selfishly because we wanna know what ridiculous things you bring because maybe it's not that goofy and we wanna bring them ourselves. So let's get right into that first ridiculous item. This is an episode for those of you in the community who have been asking for more beautiful Alaskan shots. If you're here just for the ridiculous items, I have marked them in the timestamps below. <laughs> this is crazy, right? So this little guy is running 47 watts, which is pretty impressive. So that projector we take with us, I don't know if you remember that Christmas video we had out about gifts for small camper trailer owners. So one of the wish items we had on there was a projector. We knew it was ridiculous, but we wanted one. And a company reached out to us after seeing that video and said, here's a projector. They actually had many for us to choose from. And why we chose this one is it is really small. It's actually less than two pounds. Uh, I'll show the measurements. I'll throw them up on the screen here. So you can see how small this little thing is. Look at this, this is my microphone that goes on top of my camera, my little dead cat. This thing is small and look at the screen. I just love it. And why I really liked it is you can only be about three foot away to throw up the screen. So you can do a 33 inch projection all the way up to 170 inch. Isn't that crazy? I mean, these lines, these are the aluminum siding of the house. And why I like that 33 inch and you know, three feet away is I can do this inside the small camper trailer, but then I can throw it up on a rock at 170 inches. It's clear, the picture is really clear. I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. This thing has everything you need, HDMIs. It has a USB port where you can put your movies on a USB or even on your hard drives, micro SD ports, VGA. It even has screen mirroring, so you can mirror anything off your Android or iPhone. So those same projectors you've seen at your university or school that cost thousands of dollars, now you can get one for like a hundred, I think $119. Problems with this, I found sometimes the IR sensor on the remote doesn't pick up. Um, another issue, you know, the colors aren't perfect. You know, if you're a colorist, if you're an audio video file, you're gonna have some issues with the sound and the color, but it looks really good. It looks like anything you'd watch out in, you know, a park, like an arts movie in a park, uh, anything you'd see at a school PTA fundraiser type of thing. Um, and audio, the audio is really loud actually out of the little thing, but it's kind of got a tin canny thin sound to it. So I would just hook it up to our Bluetooth speaker and just have the real good movie experience. Okay, this next one is really ridiculous. We could pick any of these plants and put them in a vase inside our camper, but no, we bring along fake plants. And sometimes they're really a pain because we forget to put them back where they're supposed to go in the cupboard. And then we drive off and we're like, oh no, the fake plants, we gotta go and put them away. So these fake plants, kind of a hassle. Uh, they're in glass jars, so we have to put them away when traveling. But we bring these everywhere with us. Even if we stop at a rest stop, we pull these out, 
hook them up. There's just something about having green in here that just makes the space feel calming and comfortable. Uh, it's ridiculous that they're fake, but the babies can grab them and play with them and there's no issues. And like I said, these make you feel good. I don't think there's been a study on this. Maybe there has, but you know, green plants in an office make you feel good. I think even green fake plants make you feel better. So a little Bluetooth radio. Uh, Jake, if you're watching this, we probably should get this back to you. Actually, your dad, we've been borrowing this for way too long. We don't bring it out with us every trip, but there's something good about being gone for a long time and just turning something like this on. It just kind of brings you back to feeling some normalcy in life. So turn that music up. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Please don't pick those, bud. We don't know what they quite are, okay? We don't know what they are. I know. We're going to check our book when we get home to see what kind of berries they are. Yeah, can we eat them? I can see the trailer. I think we have a way to get to the trailer. But I can see it. You can see it. Look at all this mud. Yes, I know I should put up mud flaps on the car. I'm just so used to the teardrop being only four foot wide in there, the mud just blows right past it. So having the same issues with the scamp, but here's what I would like to do to fix it if I was full time. Okay, so we're not quite ridiculous enough yet to carry a pressure washer wherever we go, but honestly, if I was full time, one of these would be with me everywhere I go. And why that is, is many of these newer style pressure washers have a mechanism, a motor in them, that can pump water from outdoor water sources. So you can hook a hose up to this and draw water from a lake, from a river, from a bucket nearby. And what's cool about these, they're about 1800 watts, which runs high, but that's low enough that you can run it off your gas powered generator. And even cooler yet, the new solar portable generators like EcoFlow, they're running 1800, 2000 watts. So you can power this entirely off the sun. And why I think this is a great idea is because when we're out boondocking, looking for a car wash is really hard. And then you find one and typically for us, the token machines broke or they don't have change and they need exact change. I don't know if this is an Alaska thing, but I'm not finding any that take credit cards out there. Is it perfect? No. This pressure washer works great for cleaning cars. But if you're going to use it for a deck or a driveway, it does have the pressure, but you're going to need a lot of patience because it's like cleaning a deck with a pencil tip. I love the build quality of this section, but this is just all plastic. And what really bothers me is the hose is not pliable. So when I'm walking around my car or my yard, I tug on this and it pulls over the entire thing and it falls. So if it was me, I'd just remove this if I was going full time and just wrap it up and carry it by hand. Many of these on the market around here, even in town, may be cheaper than this. I've seen ones even smaller than this, but I don't know if they have that feature where they can draw external water. <laughs> We're really close now, bud. Want me to push with my foot and then you push? Tough guy's got it, huh? Are you gonna catch fish? Let's see your pole. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. What is a nice? Your pole, that's homemade, right? Yeah. They're just moving quick, aren't they? So the 
gas fire pit. The only thing ridiculous about this is we don't use it enough. You know, we get comments that say the only campfire that should be at a campground is a fire with wood. And we get it. We love fires with wood. We love the sound of them, the smell of them. But it's that smell that bothers us because as much as we're out here, that smell tends to follow us into our camper. And it makes it hard. It makes it hard for us to sleep. It makes it hard in the morning when we wake up and everything smells like soot and smoke. It makes us want to just go to the Harbor Master and get a shower or even head home a little early. So yes, we're still doing regular fires more than this fire pit, but we love this little thing and it's making us feel cleaner. It's making us be able to stay out here longer. And it's great because it's tiny. And for those of you who are living in places with fire bans, many state and national parks and your regular campgrounds are allowing these because they're off the ground and they're ran by liquid propane. Ooh, berries galore. I need that one. Oh yeah! These are, these must be trailing raspberries. Hey, we just found trailing raspberry. Mosquitoes everywhere. Yeah. Whew. Hey. Wow. You are right. We filled up, up fast, so I'm gonna seal this one up and we have two more containers to go. Um, no, um I, that was from my berries. Oh, you got a purple berry tongue? Yeah. I'm gonna make jam. Yeah. <laughs> How do we clean my mouth? After eating all these sugary berries, we are going to go brush our teeth with our fancy smancy Sonicare. <laughs> So the good old Sonicare toothbrush. So May started taking this out with her, which I thought was ridiculous. Next thing you know, I'm taking this too overseas on all our trips. One charge will keep this over a week or two. There's just something, if you don't own one of these, about the feeling you get after you brush your teeth. It's like coming from a dentist. It's like a feeling you can't get on a regular toothbrush. But then again, lately, we're not actually using these. We've been using regular toothbrushes, and I think that's because we're trying to leave home things at home and camp stuff at camp. So we have a toothbrush for each trailer and a system like that with our clothes, pots and pans, all of that. You should see the gear that guy carries to film us. So this is what I carry with me on my back everywhere for making YouTube videos. Hiking, camping, boating. As ridiculous as it looks, I just love doing this. Ew, there is a worm in it. <sighs> Why doesn't somebody clean that up with a vacuum? Who has a vacuum with them? Oh, I know somebody who carries a vacuum with them. We don't always bring one of these little vacuums with us, but if it's a trip near the beach and there's sand, or a long trip like this and kids are just going to make quite a mess. Did somebody say they wanted slow motion bear scat? So all this wind coming in just reminds me of a tip I probably should share with you. So we usually leave our side entry tent or clam tent up until the morning we leave. And what that's caused us in the long run is waking up to a wet tent from a rainstorm. Now that means we have to take the tent down, go home, put it back up to dry it out so there's no mold. So our tip that we should have been doing a long time ago, take that down the night before you leave. Yes, it's gonna cause you a little inconvenience in the morning, but that's less packing for you in the morning and a dry tent. We have for you a playlist just like this video about Alaska outdoor adventures intertwined with gear and tips and tricks. We also have a video here about why we don't cook inside our trailers. It's a video many of you have said is your favorite from us and I think most of you will feel the same way about it. Sharing these videos if you enjoyed them is what really helps our channel out. Guys, it's been fun. Enjoy this big beautiful world we live in and we'll see you in the next episode.